I decided to make another tutorial today because I see a lot of tutorials out there for VTubers about your Vroid or your 2D Live or all of the different programs out there, which I do also want to cover. But there is a lot of things on the streaming aspect of being a VTuber that seems to be lost. And while I understand you can get those kind of things from everyday regular streamers, which I have been, I'm really curious to figure out why VTubers aren't covering these ideas, because they're also very, very important. And I see a lot of times I go to streams and other VTubers aren't using things that will make their lives easier. So I want to help you guys stream better, not just have better avatars. So we're going to go over an amazing program that I love today called Neon Board that's going to make channel points and subs and all those fun things way easier for you. So hang tight and we're going to get into it. Bear with me here. In order to show OBS, we need to look at an infinity mirror window of OBS, and that's fine. So, normally what I see people do when they do redeems, okay, a very popular one amongst the VTuber community, because a good chunk of us are animals, is a head pet redeem. And usually what I see people do is the redeem comes in over here on the request behind me, and they see it. And then they have to manually go over and press the button to have it work. Okay, and this is all done. So they have to see it first. They have to press the button and then it'll go. And then when they want it to stop, they have to press the button again. But wouldn't it be cool if you didn't have to press any buttons and you could just continue what you were doing and streaming and concentrate on streaming instead of your redeems, right? So you can make your viewers happy make them press the buttons for you, and you can go ahead and continue on your content and focus on that more than the redeems. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pop over to a yarn board and we're going to download that. All right, so over here on the OBS project, there is a program called Neuron Board because the person who made it was named Neuron, so it's called Neuron Board. We're going to want this program in order to do all the things that I was talking about and make everything easier for you. It's basically a virtual stream deck that can also connect to your OBS and Twitch at the same time, which makes things 20 times easier. So we're going to go ahead and click on go to download. And then we're going to go to the newest version, which actually wasn't that long ago. All right. So now that that's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and go into our downloads over here and we're going to open up the zip file. In the zip file, we have all these different special things and they're all uh, very important. So what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and unzip these. So what we're gonna wanna do first, we need the receiver first for anything. Uh, if you don't care about having like a virtual stream deck where you can press buttons, all you need is the receiver, nothing else. So we're gonna go ahead and double click on that. It says, welcome, you know, do you wanna go through the tutorial? Obviously no, because you have me here. So you don't need that. So we're just going to ignore that. So you're going to want to leave all of this like this. And then you're going to want to have it auto connect to OBS, auto connect to Twitch. Um, make sure that it's all working and then hit accept. OK, again, we're back in OBS and we're going to deal with this forever mirrored OBS because recording OBS in OBS is annoying. So you're going to want to go up to where it says view docs. We're going to want to add a custom browser doc. And then as you can see, I already put it in, but you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to go into your Leorn board file. You're going to go over to the main one. You're going to look at this one. This is TSL transmitter. Leorn board itself is going to say you're going to need a TLS transmitter, but it's the same thing. I don't know why the letters are reversed and weird, but it's the same thing. You're going to want to use this. So then you're going to want to open it up real quick so that you get this browser. You're going to copy that. Okay, then you're going to put in here. All right, you're going to do that. And then you're going to put this here. Okay, apply. Now you get this cool new little pop up window. You're going to throw this window somewhere where you never have to deal with it again. It's not important. Okay. I don't want to play with you anymore. So now that that's all set up in your OBS, you're going to come back to the Leorn board deck 
and your it should have it all grayed out now that it's connected to OBS. It's going to have like a bunch of little letters over here that pop up saying it's connected. So next, you're going to want to link your Twitch. So you're going to have to go in here and it's going to click open URL and it's going to open up and give you this so you can go ahead and authorize your Twitch. You're, it's, it's not going to do anything bad. Literally, all you're doing is giving the permission for the onboard to talk to Twitch and listen in on the conversations and the chat so that it knows to do certain things for you. It's not anything malice, you're gonna be fine. So when it's all set, it's gonna say, all good, you can go back to the Orin board now. So you don't wanna worry about that anymore. You just close it, goodbye. As you can see, it's gonna have all this stuff pop up saying that it's now connected to your Twitch. So you can close that. So now it's gonna say, you know, that's linked. It's now connected. It's listening to your Twitch. That's great. Nice. So now you're gonna to wanna to do add new deck, okay? And then you're gonna come up with this little window here. And this is basically your stream deck, um, but it's not the one that you can use, it's the one you can edit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this, create a blank button, and then um, if you want, you can make it different colors. Uh, if it's easier for you to like remember what certain things are based on the color, I do that. And then um, you can change the text so you remember what the button's for. So we're, this one's for head pats, right? So you can do head pats there. Now it says head pats. Cool. That's what it's for. So now in order to make it do the thing, we're going to go to add commands. In here, you're going to press the plus button. And then there's a whole bunch of different things here you can do. Um, I'm not going to explain what every single one does. Uh, just like play around with it, see what they do. There's a bunch of different things that will it will do within OBS and talk to it and change it. For this particular kind, we can make it really easy. So we're going to do source change visibility for this particular redeem. Okay, and then we're going to find the source name that it's in. Right now it's in videos because I have a whole different scene just for videos. And then the item is, I didn't name it, but it's image four or whatever you wanted to call it. Visibility, true. So we want it to, we want it to be on, but we don't want it to be on forever, right? So we're going to want to make it during a limited time. So you're going to go ahead and press the plus button again. And then you're going to go ahead and do source change visibility, videos, image four. And then we're going to do visible false. Now, as it's set right now, it's going to turn it on and off at the exact same time. Nothing's going to happen in OBS. So you're going to want to do a delay so that it won't be on constantly or not at all. So we're going to turn it off. The orange board is written in milliseconds, which actually can be really great. All right. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to make it like 1,000 milliseconds. It's not that long, but it's good enough for an example. I'm going to click done and then done. And then we're going to go ahead and go over to Twitch. But we're going to add a new custom reward. So it has to be exactly the same as what we typed it. And whatever. It's fine. I'm not keeping this. It's just an example. So we're going to create that. Now it's in there. It should have the same name as what you have in the Orin board. So now we're going to go ahead and look in OBS and see how that works. All right. So now we're back in OBS. And now say you're streaming, you're doing your thing, and someone wants to redeem a point that you have set up with the order board. Now, you don't have to worry about this at all. They're gonna go ahead and they're gonna go ahead and do the redeem, click it, and it's gonna do it. I didn't touch a thing, the order board did it for me, and I can continue on with my content, and your viewer still gets the thing that they wanted without you having to take the time to step back and do it. And I find that it's much more entertaining when it's a surprise to you as the streamer. Viewers love to surprise you. And if it's more unexpected to you, the happier they get. So go ahead, have fun, play around with the different times and the different things that you want to have happen in OBS. And I hope I made things easier for you. That's how you use the Orn board. And I hope it helps you give the different redeems that you wanted to give your viewers a lot easier and a lot more fun. There's a bunch of different combinations you can do to use it. Sometimes it can be a little time consuming, but I promise you once it's done, you can set it and forget it. And it's absolutely amazing. So go out there and have your best streams. And if I helped you, 
feel free to give me a thumbs up, maybe a subscribe. Check me out over on Twitch. I stream every weekend, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye! Thank you.